All right, guys. So today is going to be the last day that we are spending on our Grandma Moses inspired winter landscape. So as you can see, I have almost all of my um, artwork colored in. I did not color in the snowy ground and I also decided not to color in the stream um, as well as we were not coloring in the sky because we are going to do some painting in those areas today. So with this next um, part of our project, we're going to be using watercolor paints and our goal is to make a transparent watercolor, which transparent means it's see-through. And we are also going to make an opaque watercolor. Opaque means that it is not see-through. It means it's solid, so there's no um, transparency to it. So I'm going to start with my transparent watercolor. To make watercolor transparent, you're going to get your wet paintbrush, and we're going to keep some water in our paintbrush. Um, we don't want it to be drippy, so I'm going to just lightly touch the side so that it goes back down inside there. Um, and then we're going to get a little tiny, tiny bit of our watercolor paint. Um, for this lesson today, we are only using blue and purple. Which I'm not sure if you can see that in my screen here. We're only going to be using the blue and the purple. Okay. Um, we want this to look like an icy winter landscape. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue here. And I'm going to put some blue transparent paint just in some areas here and there to make my snow look like it kind of has that reflection. Um, you know how it well, it's actually snowy right now. Um, and when it's snowy outside, we kind of have this really interesting uh, reflection from the blue sky that happens. And so that's what we're working on. And we're just making kind of some hills here and there. We do not want it to be dark. It should be very, very light, very see-through. So I'm just going to put some more. And of course, what we learned with this lesson is that as things are closer to us, to the bottom of the paper, there's more detail. So I put a little bit more of my, um, not darker, not more paint, but more hills down here in the bottom where we would see those because they're closer to us. So we just want to keep that really transparent look to our paint. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use transparent paint once again. And I made this little path in my snow. And so um, another thing that kind of happens with snow is that when you walk on it, it gets compacted. And so it, it gets more dense and the light acts differently in those areas. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint in my little path here with solid blue paint. And again, it's transparent. It is not opaque. It's not dark. It's just very, very light. Now we're going to talk about opaque paint. So I'm going to paint in my stream here. And I want that stream to be solid. I want it to be opaque, especially in the back in the distance, because as things get farther away, um, that color is going to change. So you might be able to see through the ice a little bit up here, but as it gets farther away, you're not going to see that. So this time I'm going to take more paint on my paintbrush, just kind of like a normal amount. And I'm going to paint in around my horse. And you can see that that paint is much darker. As it gets closer, I think I'm going to let it be a little bit more um, transparent, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more water and just let my darker blue paint kind of spread out a little bit to make it more transparent down here. So we have this light transparent in the front of our stream, and as our stream gets farther away, that paint gets a little darker and a little bit darker. like that. 
the very last thing, we are going to put opaque paint in the sky. So this time I'm going to use kind of a combination of blue and purple because I do want to add some purple into my icy landscape. So I'm going to take a normal amount, not extra, just a normal amount of purple paint here. And as you can see, it's dark. It is opaque. And I'm just going to paint that in around my mountains. As you can see, it kind of gets lighter the more you move it around because it's covering more space. So if you need to, you can get more water, a little bit more paint to paint in that sky area. Using opaque paint. Okay, I'm come over here, do the same with my purple using opaque so if it gets a little transparent a little clear I'm going to add some more color to it to keep it darker we don't want it to be so dark that it's kind of yucky looking you can, you can put too much paint which it gets kind of um, thick and cakey and it doesn't look very nice watercolor is always going to be a little bit thin that's just the nature of this kind of paint, but you can control how dark it is based on how much water you use. So now that I have my opaque purple, I'm going to rinse out, get a little bit of the water out of my paintbrush, and I'm going to get some blue this time, and I'm just going to dab some blue here and there, and then kind of swirl it around a little bit and let that mix with the purple. That's going to give you kind of a nice sunset sort of look. A little bit more, put a couple more dabs of blue over here. I'm gonna swirl it around just a little bit. You don't want to have puddles of paint on your paper because it's hard to carry um, when it has puddles. But there we go. So we have our transparent paint on our snow and our opaque paint in our sky. And that is our finished Grandma Moses project.